So in this particular video, we will be taking a SQL problem that was asked in Amazon. So I will help you to understand how to solve a problem in a structured manner, how to think about the problem, how to go over the solution and step by step approach you need to take to solve one particular problem. So in case if you have some interviews in the future, you can use this approach to solve that particular problem. And without wasting time, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back and let's get started. So in this particular video, we will be solving manager team size problem. This was asked in Amazon. And this is particularly easy problem. So we will look into different approaches to solve this particular problem. Now I just want to say that there are many different ways you can solve one particular problem. So if you have some other ways, you can comment it out. But my goal of this video is to help you to understand a problem, how to take the right approach and understand the problem and solve it step by step. So even if you are a beginner, then you will be able to solve any SQL problem you face in any interview. So let's start by understanding our problem statement. Write a query to identify manager with the biggest team size. So what they are asking is write a simple query. Okay. With the manager, identify the manager with the biggest team size. So one manager might have like three employees working under him. One manager might have like five, five employees working under him. So we want to find out one manager that has the largest team size. You may assume that there is only one manager with the largest team size. So they are telling us to assume that there will be only one manager with the largest team size. So there won't be any manager that has the same team size. So let's try to understand what they have given us in the input. Number one thing we have over here is the employee table. And second thing we have over here is the managers table. So let's look at these tables and understand what they contain. Select star from employees. Okay, let's run this and let's see what data it has. So it has like first name, last name, salary, department ID, manager ID joined it. And it has around like 21 rows and let's look at the managers tables managers okay let's run this particular table and see what it contains so it has like id name teams and join date and this is what the data looks like it's like there are multiple teams devops marketing hr etc so we understood the structure of the table it is already given over here but it is much easier to understand when you look at the actual data so that you can take right steps to write the query and at the end they're asking us to create the output with the manager this is basically the manager name and the team size of that particular manager. Now, what do we mean by team size? Okay. So one manager might have like five employees working under him. So that becomes his team size. So in the employee table, we have multiple employee details and, the, and in the manager tables, we have like multiple manager details. So what we can do, we can use this manager ID from the employee table and join the ID of the manager table to get the final data. So let's try to do that and understand what it gives so employees okay let's give the alias as e then we will just use the inner join okay inner join on managers that is uh, m on e dot manager id is equal to m dot id and let's run this particular query so as you can see we have all the employee details and at the end we have the manager detail we joined on manager id and the id of the manager table and to verify the join we have 21 rows at the end so that means we don't have any duplicates or any data did not get removed because of the join okay so we have this particular thing now what we need to do we need to start working on the getting the right output the first thing they are asking is manager okay so manager so that that, that is coming from m dot name let's give this name as manager okay so let's just run this and let's see okay this is the manager so we got this particular thing which is basically manager now second thing they are asking is the team size the so team size basically means the count of number of employees that is present in the company so what we can do we can just directly write the count okay count count of e dot id id the reason we are using id is because each and every employee has unique id and based on that, it will give us the final count. So let's try to run this and let's see what it gives. So it is giving us this particular output. Now, do you think this particular output is right or wrong? Now let's try to submit this and let's see what it gives. Okay. So our test case is failed. Now, why that particular thing happened? Let's try to understand that. What we did over here is we directly used count and the manager. Now what the SQL query did is basically pick the first manager. The manager was around like, uh, Christopher okay and gave us the entire count of the employee table that is the 21 so we had like 21 rows in the employee table that gave us the final count now in order to find the individual manager count what we need to do is group by different manager that is basically group 
by m dot name now if we do this the sql query will group by based on the different manager names and it will give count based on that so as you can see now we are getting the right count which is basically christopher has like the six employees okay erica has like three employees like that now we get all of this output but still we are missing something what we are missing over here is that we need to find a manager with the largest team size so in this particular output as you can see we have like the christopher with the six employee count and others are less than that but what we need to do we need to limit this particular thing so what we can do over here is just write limit one now run this particular query and you will see one particular output at the end now there is one more flaw over here and let me explain you that if i remove this okay and if i run this particular query now there is one flaw in this particular script the flaw is these particular managers are coming based on the different ids so this is not properly sorted. So we might have some output that might be displaying this Erica on the top and Christopher on like the fourth or fifth line because it is not sorted based on this particular column. So what we need to do, we need to also add the sorting which is in the decreasing order. So what we will do first, we will uh, rename this particular column to team size. Okay. And then what we will do is order by order by order by team size okay and we will do limit order by team size decreasing and limit let's not do the limit right now and just run this particular query now what we can do we can just do the limit just limit one because we just want the top manager and our top manager will be over here so just run this particular query and we will get this particular output at the end now what we can do we can just submit this particular query and see the result so our both the test cases passed and our output is and our output is exactly matching what they really want now this is just one way there are multiple ways you can solve this particular problem you can use the analytical function to rank these columns you can use the subqueries you can use the max function there are multiple ways you can do this but i just showed you one and one of the most easiest way so there are multiple ways you can solve this particular problem and this is your homework so you need to find different way to solve this particular problem and put that particular query in comment section i will look into it and i will give you my feedback now as i said there are multiple ways you can solve one particular problem now if you have any other solution you can comment that below and also if you want more of this video then you can click on that particular like button and tell me what you want to see in the future thank you for watching see you in the next video